Okay, so today we're gonna to be talking about words and math. Basically, word problems and having to decipher what means what. And there's a lot of confusion out there, but you're gonna have these sets of notes, and with these sets of notes, you're gonna have some words that you can use uh, that are gonna be in your notes, right? So when we think of these words, these uh, operations, addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, um, those types of things, these are, we're gonna have very specific words, okay? Some of them might mean something else when we talk about other operations and uh, functions, but right now we're just uh, particularly sticking with this, right? So when I think of the word addition, right? Some of the words that come to mind are plus, maybe add, right? Combine, right? To me, now combine can be a little bit of a tricky word, but I think that's it. Uh, that's one that's there for sure. Um, you might even hear uh, the sum of, right? The sum of, or even sum. Sum's another word too. If you say sum of two and six, something like that. Uh, you might even see the word and, two and three. But and's kind of like another word that I like to use. Um, subtraction now subtraction is going to be fun right so uh i think some of the words for subtraction there's going to be plenty of words on here that are not used uh difference right i think that's the first word that probably comes into people's minds maybe minus right six minus something and then the key word in the subtraction subtract right subtract okay all of that stuff means um, you might even see less than less than's a keyword but less than we're gonna talk about that here for turnaround words okay turnaround words are when you take the word action and you actually flip it so if I say three less than five right so less than is a turnaround word more than basically more than any word that has the word than are what we call turnaround words okay and what I mean by that is like for an example here I'm gonna write it up here okay as an example let's say I said two less than five right two less than five okay I know that the less means I'm going to subtract but because this is a turnaround word when I'm writing this this five actually goes in front minus and this two actually goes in back so that's what i mean by that turnaround word it flips uh basically flips your numbers so be careful usually that then is the one that's going to do it okay if you see that less than more than types of words okay um uh and we might add to that but we'll see how it goes um division so we're dividing some things uh keyword in there divide right Divided by, divided, divide, divided by, um, let's see, uh, quotient, quotient's a good word, right? So quotient means that you're dividing. Now look at, look at the division symbol. That's like a fraction, right? So I'm gonna kind of say here, fraction, even though that's not technically a word uh, that we're gonna see a lot of, that's a, a key word there. Okay, and there are tons of extra words on here that you can add to your list as well. Okay, um, we're gonna go ahead and go with multiplication, some words, uh, twice. That's like saying two times. Twice is two times. Uh, per, right? Uh, so 35 miles per hour, right? So you're gonna multiply the 35 times the hours. Okay, so that's something. Uh, times the, so like times the difference. Uh, or no, times, uh, sorry, times multiplication. We'll talk about that. That's a parentheses words. Um, all that good stuff. Um, a lot of words on here are gonna be the same thing for multiplication. Twice, twice means two times per, times multiply, right? That's another keyword that you probably wanna use in here, okay? All right, multiply, multiple. Um, all that good stuff, okay? Then equals. So in my my knowledge, what I know is whenever I see the word is, right? Uh, 2x is 4, right? That means 2x equals 4, 
Uh, for me, that that's the key word that I think um, of when I say equals. Um, I think there's a couple of other words. None really come to mind at the moment, um, but definitely is is definitely one uh, of those. Okay, uh, you might even hear together, but usually together means addition. So I want to talk about parentheses words. Okay, so uh, twice, right? Twice was, means multiplication, but let's say I said twice the sum of or the difference of, right? Sum of, we can also say difference, right? What that means for an example here, and I'm going to uh, write an example. If I say twice the sum of, that's going to be two times parentheses something, let's say A plus B twice the sum right so notice that's where my parentheses coming from what if i said twice the difference well two times parentheses a minus b right but be careful because you might have those turnaround words okay so be very careful with that so those are some parentheses words where you're going to put those in sets of parentheses okay so um you want to be very careful uh you might even hear something like plus the difference of so plus the difference of, right? Uh, or minus the difference of. So uh, this, an exact example, is going to be something like two plus a minus b, right? Or two minus a plus b, right? Something like that. Okay. And obviously, we're going to be dealing with numbers and words, but these are some of the words that we use in math. And of course, again, you have your list. You're going to see lots and lots of words. Okay. And uh, if you can, take that time to work with a partner, and hopefully, you should be able to get that. So I'm going to go ahead and go here as some examples, some examples for word problems. Okay. Some keywords the sum, that means I'm going to add of x and 7 so x and 7 notice i'm underlining key parts the plus goes where the and is so this is going to be x plus 7 okay all right the difference difference means to subtract the difference between x and 2 right so the difference goes with the word and so that's going to be x minus 2 Okay, 18, 18 more than, now be careful, more means to add, but there's the then, so this is actually a flip word, right? So it almost looks like it should say 18 plus X, but because it's a flip word, it's actually going to be X plus 18, right? More means to add, but then because it's more than, I flip it around, okay? Like this next problem, five less than y less means to subtract but of course i have that then this is what we call that flip word so the y is going to go to the front and the five is going to go to the back that gives me y minus five okay big key word there turn it flip word make sure you uh, look at that very closely okay another flip word that we probably you might want to go back and add to your list of notes is the from right 10 subtracted from x. I'm taking it away from x. So that's what makes this a turnaround word. So maybe we need to add the word from. So turnaround word, the x goes to the uh, front, the 10 goes to the back. This is now x minus 10 because we're taking away from x. Okay. Uh, the product. Product means to multiply. So I'm going to use my little dot for multiplication. Uh, that product goes here, x and 3. Now, guys, there are two different ways to write this, right? Uh, x and then your dot 3. Or what most of you guys see is 3x. Now, in this situation, multiplication has its own property, which we call, I believe it's associative. You can interchange it. But um, this is really the way I want you to write your answer whenever you're seeing multiplication, especially with a variable, okay? Uh, the quotient. Quotient means to divide. Now look at here. The division symbol looks like a fraction. So that's exactly what we're going to write this as, right? Notice the 7 goes on the top and the x is going to go on the bottom in this situation. So the quotient of 7 and x, okay? 
And last but not least, twice, that means two times, a number increased by four. So two times the number, so two times x increased by four, right? There's no uh, parentheses. It's not saying twice the sum of, it's saying twice a number. So that's the key piece right there. And then increase by four, okay.